goddesses of the nation and of the land and of all creation hope everybody doing well hope that you blessed and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can get all the latest news and info and commentary from your boy stay tuned man we got something coming up for you peace to the gods and the goddesses of the nation of the land and of all creation hope everybody doing well hope you blessed and doing something possible pos <laughs> excuse me doing something positive for yourself and for others and for all of those who come in contact with you i wanted to bring the little shit to you guys because i've been giving this shit a little bit of thought for the last couple of days it's not the first time that it done came to my mind but it is the first time that I kind of want to share with the people of the world. And in no shape or form am I endorsing Christianity or anything to do with Christianity. I'm just using Christianity as a means to say what, what these people are trying to do. Now, if you know anything about Christianity, you know that in Christianity and Revelation, I believe it's like Revelation 13 or some shit like that. I, I'm not. I'm not. Forgive me if I'm giving you the wrong lecture, but I will be posting it up so you guys can see this exactly what I'm talking about. But if you know anything about the Bible, you know that in Revelation, they have a saying that, you know, hold on, let me plug my phone up and get my phone charged up. All right. But check it. You know that in Revelation, they say that the second coming of man as far as with Jesus. Right. So I had a thought like this. Do you think, and I want you guys to get into my comments, and I want you to give me your honest opinion and your honest thoughts about these things right here. And because this is something that I believe in my heart, that the government and the world in general being the United Nations, because what I want y'all to really understand is the United Nations is controlling all of this shit. You may not think it. But the United Nation is controlling all of this shit. Nothing is going around in this world without the say of the United Nations. They got control. It's multiple com um, countries that's in cahoots with each other. And they getting shit done. Basically what I'm saying to you. But like I was saying, if you know anything about the Bible, you know that in, Re in Revelation, they say about the second coming of man and how he would judge the world. Now, this is something that I truly believe in my heart that they're going to try to pull because I see a lot of bullshit and I see a lot of... Now, take it. Look at how if you compare this time and age... So let's say the 80s, the early 90s, in the 70s, and the 60s, so forth, so forth, going back and going back. You'll know that, let's say, homosexuality in America and abroad America. And back in the days, it was looked upon, it was frowned upon. But today, it's looked upon, it's gloated upon in this and it's being upheld. Take, for instance, like Wade and Gabrielle Union using, um, you know, their son to further the transvestite agenda. And let me be honest with you. I really don't care about, you know, what a person, what their preference is. But I'm just using this as a point of where, you know, where I'm trying to go at with what I'm trying to say. So you see that that's pre prevalent in the world that we live in today, right? Now. You know that with Christianity, like with Sodom and Gomorrah, that it was taught that God, so forth, the God of the Bible, destroyed two cities about this same sin, you know, that was being, you know, frowned upon at that point in time, and he destroyed two cities behind it, right? So now, if you look at, like, a lot of the shit that they say into the into the Bible, like how you got to do when he say men will become lovers of themselves, um, there will be wars and rumors of wars, like what you hear now, and that, um, how can I say, um, men will become prideful and boastful. You got, like, with the rap society today and all of that shit, how they boasting on, hey, I got this type of car, I got this type of jewelry, I sold this amount of drugs, I shot this many people, da 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 da, -da. So you have, like, just for one instance, do you think, because we know that at the end of the day, behind the scenes of everything that's going on today, whether it be with entertainment, media, or with government, we know that behind the scenes, the United Nations and the people that control that 
organization at that at um the people who controlled the United Nations, they got their hands print on everything. Nothing moves, nothing goes on without they say, right? So my question is. Would it be possible that these people are putting everything in place to be able to stage a second coming of Jesus in order to implement martial law? Think about it. If they was going to let gay people, you know, get married and have all of these rights that they do today, why didn't they do that shit way back in the days when the United Nations first formed and, you know, they... You know, they transitioned for everybody to have their freedoms and America was the land of the free, you know, and all of that. Everybody, you could come here and do whatever you wanted and da 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 da, da. Why wasn't all of these laws and things implemented back then in the days when the United Nations first took over? Could all of these laws and things being put into place and in what we see today could be from the minds of the elite to be able to reenact something that people from long ago basically predicted. So in order to make you believe in Christianity and when they do talk about with the second coming of Jesus, which I'm going to give you, let's say there also could be. All right, but we, I'm going to get to that. And say the second coming of Jesus, so people could be all scared, and there'd be a mass, a mass hysteria all around the globe, so people can conform to the way that this man, or like I was gonna say, but I'm gonna say it now, the image of the beast. Because if you notice that in the Book of Revelation, right? And again, let me say this to you: I'm not promoting the Bible to you. I'm just telling you that this is something that has been read about throughout the globe, throughout history. And who's to say that the elite are not using these certain things that's in the Bible to reenact something, to be able to get people to conform to something that they want? Because at the end of the day, religion was formed to what? Control the masses, right? So, Back in the days, right, they used it in force, like with the Roman army and all of that, how they captured and they, you know, the Holy Crusades and all of that shit, where they went from continent to continent to continent, you know, and and they colonized and took over all of these lands and made people do what? Conform to Christianity. You get what I'm saying to you? Pardon me, man. I heard my dog coming down the stairs. But... All of these things the elite maybe have been looking at all of this time and just waiting for the right time and putting everything in place like relinquishing all of these rights to certain type of people and then you got them controlling the media with the men glo um, gloating about what they have and all of that. Basically putting in effect and bringing to reality everything that was put into the Bible because like I was just saying before, they use force and the earlier days, now they have to use fear. And basically what they were saying, like what I wanted to bring you guys, and I'm pretty sure the elite has already seen this shit. They say in Revelation that they made, um, there was an image and the beast controlled the image and people bowed down to worship the image. And then those who did not bow down to the image, you know, basically got slaughtered and got their heads cut off basically what i'm saying could right now at this point in time and you and you and, and, and i'm gonna bring some more to you because you also got project blue beam which may be a branch into the shit too now at this point in time what if the image Maybe let's say it's not even a man. Maybe it's a certain lifestyle. Maybe it could be a man. Maybe it could be the second coming of the man that they call Jesus. And we supposed to just see like with the Project Blue Bean. They supposed to have, you know, the second coming where he appear in the sky and everybody gets scared. And, you know, they say the people run towards the hills and all of that. And da 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 what if all of these things right now and all of the wrongs and the bad and the evil that's being put into this earth on purpose are purposely being done by the elite in order to bring in a mass effect of the second coming of Jesus in order to pe put people in fear to where they will conform to the certain life that this man being the image of how they talking about like in Revelation says that he wants everybody to be. 
I just want people to think about that and get into these comments, man, and let me know what you guys thinking because this right here is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this is a scenario that the government, being the UN, is going to use. They're going to use the second coming of Jesus, which being the image of the beast, and the beast is going to control and make everybody conform because you think about it. Right now, they're going to say, they, they, what do they say? The second coming and no man knows no time, but they know that the majority of the evil on this earth is going to be going on at this time. What height of evil? That, right now, it's the most evil height that we have been in as, a, as in any time. Even with like the Holocaust and things going back in the past with the wars and all of this shit. Right now... You also have those same wars. You also have people, that, you know, of, of a certain mind state. Because if you notice with the world today, people have become more cold-hearted. So maybe that all of these things is being put into place so they can make make it look like a mass hysteria when a second coming of a man who never really existed come back. But they're going to use that to fool the people and then to... And, and to into going and entering to the new world order. That's just my thoughts. So let me know, people. Tell me what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I will get back with you later.